so many of us are trying to add a little bit more plant-based to our diet, maybe taking out some items such as dairy. And gosh, when you think about that and you want your coffee and what are you gonna put in your coffee in place of it? Well, there's a lot of options and I wanna go over some of the best for you today. Hi, I'm Robin with Lean Healthy Ageless and one of the co-authors of the Eat, Lift, Drive Diet. So today I wanna to talk with you a little bit about those nut milks that you're using in place of regular milk. Now, some of them can be really good and there's a few that you kind of wanna stay away from. I mean, if it's something you're using on a daily basis, you really want to try to get the best possible ingredients into your body. I mean, if you're having it only occasionally, it's not a big deal, but let's look at that. For example, a lot of people are using coconut milk, canned coconut milk. They'll use this as a replacement for half and half or a creamer. And this one is great because if you look at the ingredients, all that's in it is organic coconut milk, water, and coconut. So it's a good one. It doesn't have any of the bad ingredients. Now let's look at some of the typical nut milks, almond milk being one of the more popular ones. This is one that I get at Costco. It's an organic almond milk and it's, I would say, on the moderate scale of what I would want to put in my body daily because it has ingredients that you might not be aware of. Those ingredients are called emulsifiers. Now most I, with the majority of almond milk, soy milk, rice milk, all of these milks that you're buying, um, whether they're in the refrigerator section or in on the pantry aisle, they have these emulsifiers. They're meant to help keep coagulate uh, different particles together so that you don't have separation in your foods. Well, let me just give you an idea of what these emulsifiers are. For example, this one has um, organic locust bean, gum, it has gelin gum, it has lecithin. Now these are probably the better of the emulsifiers that you'll find in these types of products. You wanna be watching out, there's emulsifiers like carrageenan and there's ones that I can't even pronounce. So look at your ingredients. So obviously I could keep going, there's some other ingredients on this list, I don't wanna go through them all and bore you, but it's not 100% real food. Let me just tell you why you don't want to have emulsifiers in your diet on a regular basis. Emulsifiers wear the lining of the intestines down and they can promote unhealthy gut bacteria. They promote the bacteria that does not promote anti-inflammatory response. They actually promote gut bacteria that causes inflammation. And because all inflammation is at the cause of so many sicknesses and diseases, autoimmune responses, joint problems, gut problems, we want to not have inflammation in our body. So we need to be really cautious of what we're taking in on a daily basis. I am so excited because my stepdaughter, she got me this amazing nut milk maker and I can make my own nut milk now and it literally takes three minutes to do. It's so easy, I'm gonna show you how fast it is. But when I started making the nut milks, you can use any kind of nut you want. You can use seeds, you can use sunflower seeds, you can use pistachios if you want, you can use pecans, you can use cashews, and of course you can use almonds, which is super common for a nut milk. So I happen to have a bag of walnuts, and this is a huge bag that you can, I got this at Costco. You can buy uh, walnuts online, buy the organic ones at Amazon if you want, we'll put a link up, but I have to tell you, I made the walnut milk. It was better than any almond milk, any cashew milk, any oat milk I have had. I love it. It's absolutely delicious. My husband is hooked on it. Walnuts are one of the healthiest nuts out there. They are definitely good for the heart. They actually can help regulate blood pressure. They can help open the valves of the heart and they can actually help prevent buildup of fat in the arteries. They are full of antioxidants, which is great for brain health. They're also anti-cancer because of those antioxidants. 
And then they're also really good with blood sugar regulation. In fact, there was a study done where these people that were diabetic ate a quarter cup of walnuts every single day and within a few months, their fasting insulin levels showed significantly lower. So lots of benefits, but to me, they're just really, really delicious. Let me show you how to make this emulsifier-free nut milk using walnuts, water, a pinch of salt, and I like to add vanilla. This is basically all I need to make my walnut milk. I've got one cup of walnuts. Put that in there. I'm gonna grab a pinch of salt. And then I like to add just one little scoop of the monk fruit extract. Um, just to give it a little bit of sweetness. And um, you could add a teaspoon of honey or maple syrup if you want. Some people like to add some dates. I've just locked the basket onto the blade. I'm gonna add it to the water bucket that is filled to the minimum line. All I'm going to do is press the button. Okay. It's ready to go. So let me show you what is inside of here. But look how frothy that is. Well, like I said, in less than three minutes, I have fresh walnut milk, and this is gonna last in the refrigerator for at least a week. Actually, it won't last because my husband will go through it way fast. We put this in um, smoothies, and I'm just saying, what would you rather have, this or this? I'd rather put this in my body. Mmm, delicious. Now, the nut milk maker that my stepdaughter got was a more expensive brand, and I went looking on the internet, and I found one for half the cost at Amazon. So I'm gonna include the link below to that. Also, you're gonna save so much money making your own nut milk because you can buy your nuts in bulk, you can throw them in the freezer to keep them fresh, and you only need one cup of nuts to make over a quart of milk. So it's really economical and it's so much better to have fresh nut milk that doesn't have all the emulsifying junk in it.